and they're trying to avoid the same fate that Morocco suffered, that Cameroon suffered, and that Egypt suffered on Saturday, getting knocked out at this stage of the tournament. Uh, late news yesterday, by the way, Egypt uh, sacking coach Javi Aguirre and his entire technical staff. A team they could face again at the same stage if they advance here. If they advance here. And if Ivory Coast, of course, advances. There's Paul Kut. Two teams are getting ready to kick off. We're going to have a moment of silence ahead of this match. Here's the starting 11 for Guinea. Paul Kut has made three changes to his side. Ernest Seca comes in in the center of defense. Mohamed Kamara joins the midfield. And Jose Conte joins the attack alongside Ibrahima Traore. As they come out in a 4-3-3. Now talk about Algeria. Here at 30th of June Stadium. So far in the last 16. Let's show you your starting lineups. And for Algeria, they had made nine changes in their final game of the group stage. So those nine changes were, of course, reverted. And they have gone back to the same starting 11 that they had in the round two win over Senegal. Riyad Mahrez, Baghdad Bounaja, and Sofiane Fegouli. Part of the attack along with Belaili, who has scored in the 1-0. And uh, Guinea playing in red, yellow, and green. Penalty box, and uh, well, he has to get rid of it. Oh, he needs to kick that ball away. Let's have a look at this again. Ben Asser watches it. The goalkeeper, Mboli, tries to clear it, throwing a little dummy. And he, yeah, on that occasion, here's the free kick that will be taken here by Madi Olympiakos. Man, it's headed away by man that saw them really push. Germany to extra time as well. Dangerous uh, hit man. There's the free kick into the penalty area. It flies over the head of Seca. Out of play. Unable to locate one of his hit men. And uh, it goes out safely for a goal kick. Kone is the... Uh, the right, there's the yellow card there for Maddy Within the space of five minutes. Best starts there for uh, Guinea. Just look at that. Oh, that's just clumsy of me. Just think. Mares. No, it's not Mares. It's Guedior who takes the shot of this Algerian side. Mares lofting a ball over towards the far post and uh, fields towards uh, Benadja. Another chance with the ball coming out towards him. running onto the to the ball and then firing in a fantastic effort into the corner. Long ball at field and a, a chance for Algeria. It's a strong. I think there's a lot of raised eyebrows for the teams that have been uh, qualified. There's a long range effort there. It's in. Mares goes down into the corner. Faguli tries to pull the ball back. Field and it's a very fine ball as well. That's a good piece of control. That's a beautiful strike, but I'm afraid that he's offside. Look at the, the fierce in which uh, speed and velocity that he absolutely nailed that uh, shot there. It was quite keep an eye on what's going on at the back. That's twice now that he's uh, uh, looks to uh, you're in the midfield. They got uh, a few good players. Nice little turn, very nice little turn there with a good chance to get the ball. They really are playing physically uh, around Kante. You can see that uh, he's clutching his back. Let's have a look. Well, it wasn't even him, was it? It was Mandy who uh, went into his back. Look, those are just pushing him like that. Goal hero against Burundi that enabled Guinea to go off to get through this far. Apart from uh, Mares, a little bit too far on the edge of the penalty box, tries to go down towards the byline. And uh, lost a Guinea side. And this is better from then. And the ball comes out. There's a good opportunity. Oh, he goes down. The, uh, it hasn't been cleared very well. There's a lofted high ball over the top. Oh, he doesn't nail it. Buneja produced a wonderful touch there. He just couldn't drive the ball into the corner. It goes high. But how about that for a cross? Guedeora's uh, delivery, absolutely sublime. Right over the defender. The control was 
superb, and then afterwards, you expected Bellaley. Bellaley tries to get across, and he does indeed. A volley! Oh, it's punched, punched away by Kone again. And there's danger coming in left, right, centre. And it's Ben Sabaney. What's he doing over there? Well, he's one of the 50th match now playing for Guinea. And a good chance for a shot. Good chance for an effort. It's far. No, it hasn't. Maris picks the ball up, tries to go down towards the... Oh, he's just lost possession there. He coming to the rescue. Belaley. Nice little touch to Maris. Maris. Oh, that's beautiful. Belaley! He bangs in the goal. Look at that. The Esperance player has put Algeria ahead. They thoroughly deserve that. They've been probing, pushing, and finally they get their goal. And that's a fine strike as well, Bellaley. How about that? It all happens in the space of half a second. So quick, so slick, smooth as you like. And Algeria are now starting to get that tag of being possibly, and I'm saying possibly, the favourites to go all the way. Second goal in three matches played. The Esperance winger with a sublime finish. Rattling the ball into the corner past Kone to upset the West Africans, who I'm sure will react with plenty of vigor and, and venom. Pensabeni, Belaley picks the ball up. Look at it's a very good question. Well, I think first of all, they the ball back, pulls it into the midfield. There's a chance. Oh, it was neatly pulled across there, but uh, it wasn't red. And they pick up the ball again, Maris, Maris into the midfield, midfield, it's for Gouli. That's a neatly done, he's onside as well to get a decent cross in, Triori gets his cross in. There's a chance for a header, the... they're here for a reason. It's a decent cross, but there we go, they are technically astute, aren't they? That's uh, not a bad ball, Paddy, and out wide. And Triori, Triori, oh, it's just not the right pass, is it? He gets a bit of support now. Oh, Maris, Maris, with a beautiful little wonder. And a high ball that goes over the top. Oh, Ben Sabaney, and uh, unable to do it. Dangerous this is with Maris. Maris on the edge of the penalty box. The ball comes out wide, Belaley again. Guneja, Atel. Decent cross, yeah, Guneja. And Faguli unable to get hold of it, and he finally has the last touch. It's going to be a throw in, most over. And Algeria with a couple of players. This is dangerous. Faguli on the in the middle. There's the delivery. Uh, that's a uh, little bit lucky. A little bit lucky. Triori with a shot, and it's just uh, well about Tara, who's on the left hand side now, switching sides. And shot coming in. It's a great effort as well. Thumped it big time, Matty. And the Olympiak Olympiakos man really got behind it, forcing Mboli Rise into just pushing the ball. Nice play. Atura down the left hand side, tries to get his crossover. Lofted ball into the penalty area. The flag stays down, and there's, uh, he's fallen off his feet. The flag finally goes up, though. I was looking across at one point, and then. It was a late uh, decision. Bishiktas, uh, this is a good piece of play. Oh, Maris, Maris, Maris! Gets the goal, 2-0. Algeria take the lead, double their lead, in fact, and make it 2-0. That was a fine strike. You can't leave him with that much space. You can't. And the Man City man just gets past his uh, last defender, slotting the ball into the corner. It was easy. And that is a major blow for the West Africans. But uh, Algeria showing us what they're capable of doing. Two goals for Mares, two goals for Belaley in the competition. And uh, Unas has two as well. He's one of the players on the bench, scoring a brace in that 3 0 win against Tanzania. He had three players now and two goals. Uh, it's looking pretty good for Algeria, I must admit. Let's have a look from the replay here. Look at that cross over to the edge of the penalty area, directly at. Uh, Wordy order, high ball and a chance for a header there, but uh, good play, very good play. Buneja, Buneja, can he get the ball back? Oh, he does! That was great work there by Mara. FC player, there's Silla, the delivery into the penalty box, but you've got to do a little bit more than this. We know what Guinea are capable of doing as this ball comes across and it's... it's... This is Atel getting the ball across the chance! Oh, it's got it to be another goal! And there it is, goal number three, Unes scores his third goal of this competition.
two against Tanzan here. He's only been on, what, five, six, ten minutes, maybe. It doesn't matter. It's three goals to nil. Algeria celebrating. They know that this is a done deal, and they're into the quarterfinals. I don't see Guinea coming back now. It's uh, it's then too far gone. They uh, haven't really possessed a major attacking threat. And uh, this is a great uh, performance here for Unas in this competition. Gets a chance to come on and play against Tanzania in his first game. Scores a brace. And here he is scoring his...